Callum. Leave. Leave, Callum. You need to flee. Get out of here. Y'all. Y'all. This is how we're starting part six. <laughs> Julian's gone off the rails. Like, he's gone off the rails. Um, it's at nine o'clock in the morning on Sunday. And Miss Morgana wants to know if Julian wants to go on a date. Yes. Let's go. Because she's cute and... Let's just go. We can go have some fun. Maybe it's like a little, a little like besties date, you know, like, like a study date. I don't know. Um. Anyway, <laughs> hi, welcome back to the Sims Three Le uh, Watts Leprosy Challenge. Wow, what the actual heck is happening right now? So, um, two parts ago, Julian was supposed to be getting married, um, to somebody he thought was the love of his life, and there was gonna be drama with her. Don't get me. Why did we come to the police station? Ma'am? What was this? What the? Morgana? What? Okay. Anyway, um, one, he was supposed to marry who he thought was the love of his life. But then she didn't show up to the wedding. And then when she finally did, uh, she um, started flirting with her friend's uh, husband. And so they broke it off. And in the last part, he was getting around with Miss Ileana. And in this part, he's like on a date with Morgana, who's not even here. So I don't know how long we're supposed to wait until she shows up, but I think she's playing a prank. Like, Miss Morgana? Is that you? No, that's not. Uh, let's come. Okay, this is her. Yes, I see the fancy car. Hello, Morgana. What can we do for you today? Do you want to go and see a movie, perhaps? Um, if the game will, like, let me click on it. It's at 12 p.m. Let's go see a movie. We've been trying to see a movie, like, this whole Let's Play, and I'm always late to it. Break up with Thornton. We can do that in a friendly way? I mean, she is cute. Don't get me wrong. It would be fun. Like, it would be, like, it's, she's cute. Look at her. She's a cute sim. I just liked Zelda a lot, but they weren't compatible. And, uh, you're going completely stir crazy. Um, Morgana, if you're trying to get with Julian, I don't exactly know if that's something that you should be telling him. Just asking. Just, just wondering. Just wondering. Um, but, I mean, this is also totally a possibility. They are cute. Like, they would be cute together. Zelda is absolutely adorable. Um, ooh, she's only three days older than Julian. So, much closer when it comes to ages. Um, she's talking about kids and family and maybe is a little bit like Thornton doesn't really want kids and I just know we hit it off really well. Um, at that disaster of a wedding and so I thought I might ask you out to go get coffee nothing like romantic uh just you know a little friend a little friendly a little friendly time together and they're gonna go see a movie so it's not not a romantic date let's go see uh corduroy sunglasses I think that's what we're gonna go see and she is up why don't you shower and just eat some food? Because you have to go to work soon. I completely forgot about them. Hee <laughs> hee. So, yeah, you have to go to work. Um, you can get the mail when you're done. Take a shower. Okay. Oh, no. Why are you sad, buddy? Oh, it's because one of his plants is dead. Oh, bud, I'm so sorry. But we're going to go see a movie with Morgana. Just spend some time together. Get to know each other a little bit more. Because, oh. Why is there a teddy bear right here? Okay, we might pick that up. Is that a sign? Um, that's kind of terrifying. What is the sound of freedom? In, like, was sound of freedom? Like, are we about to like witness this right here? Like in Sims? Like, what the heck? Um. Anyway, let's just come back over here. <clears throat> so yeah, she has to go to work, and I forget because like they're not like my main focus. They're just here for fun and to do a little bit guitar classes I don't he's wants to learn fitness I mean handiness I don't know what I was saying oh right uh Callum um he was added just to add a little bit of different 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 differentiation dif differentiation 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 
I can't pronounce that word, just to be a little bit different to all of the other legacy challenges here in the game who are always with girls and are always single sims and I wanted to have a little bit of a different take so yeah the teddy bear is still here um I don't really know how to feel about that okay he just saw a movie but let's go and can we ask about the movie I mean we can come get to know and see if that okay why is this just the cutest oh my goodness look at how cute he is <laughs> he's just holding a teddy bear now um what the heck is happening with this teddy bear? i don't know but it's adorable she's like where'd you get the bear and he's like i don't know <laughs> no it is cute though it is so cute um let's definitely go get something here at the diner to eat Morgana or no I'm sorry we're going with Morgana Madison is here she is here so I want to do it all have a successful career and raise beautiful children and I thought Thornton would make the ideal mate at one point so yeah she is just telling him kind of like he doesn't even want kids and I thought that he might grow out of that as we had a longer relationship but honestly he hasn't and I really want kids and you know Julian is like I also really want kids I was fully prepared to start having a family and raising it, raising one with Bailey and then she did she showed her true colors and he's like I guess I can be thankful looking back that she showed her true colors before we got married and all of that nonsense and terrible like yadahu happened but i don't know this save sims 3 is so insane like i love it i truly love it it's so much fun it's so insane how do i can i put the bear down can i put the bear down okay i don't really know what's happening there oh she's going dumpster right. morgana ma'am morgana <laughs> let's not do that real quick thank you thank you so much so i guess we'll just express our fondness oh yeah no there was friendly hug and we'll give her a friendly hug and say like i really do wish you the best you know with your relationship with thornton and um just say goodbye and then we'll go home because i i want him to do these wishes before he gets settled down and i thought that was gonna be with zelda but him and Morgana they're best friends I mean she likes him too so I don't know Morgana might be the one he gets with we still have some time um and she's like yeah thanks for just like coming out with me today spending the night spending the day with me and we're having some fun like thanks so much for for doing that um but he'll come home why not and no we're obviously <laughs> we're obviously not going to invite Ileana over tonight because we were literally just with another girl like on a date but it wasn't really like a date it was just like a friendly little hangout nothing romantic happened between the two I think Morgana just needed to get out of the house and away from Thornton and have somebody to rant to and Thankfully, Julian was the perfect person for that. So, Madison is on her way home. I think we're going to have them try for a baby. He made dinner. Um, Why don't you, like, I don't know, go pee or something. While we wait for Madison to bike home. <laughs> a little biking. Me, 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 me. All right, let's call Madison Watts to the meal. He's like, I made us some dinner. He's trying to romance her a little bit. Uh, grab a plate. Um, I guess I didn't click him as well, but he's trying to romance her. Just be a cute little loving husband. Um, we can definitely ask kind of like how work went. Why don't you put away leftovers? Um, and he is going to clean up the dishes and then he is going to kind of give you a little kiss, stroke your cheek, um, embrace, and then let's, excuse me, definitely have them try for a baby. Cause I would like to get some babies coming in, even if it's, oh, she did not look like she was into the, uh, 
cheek stroking. But anyway, they're going to go try for a baby. We have not had any luck yet, like at any of the baby departments, even in Rescue Woohoo. So yeah, let's just have them woohoo and then you can go to sleep and you will also go to sleep because you're also tired. Alrighty, it is uh, 5.30 and Julian is awake. So like I said, I think I would like him to hang out with Ileana tonight. Um, maybe like Madison and Callum can go to the beach or something and he can invite Ileana over to the house. Um, just so we can kind of like complete these wishes and maybe like break things off because maybe he is kind of like you know, he kind of realized what Morgana said, and he's kind of thinking about that, like, I really, she just reminded me how badly I want a family, and being a, uh, a mister, uh, a mistress that the rest, you know, is not exactly something I would like to put on my resume, uh, so, yeah, and then he's gonna go to work, and when we get off, we will definitely, she did, she, we get off before her. I think she gets off at three when we get off at two. Uh, I need you to wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey, Callum, back to work today. I do wonder if she's pregnant. We will be, uh, we will have to wait and see if she gets nauseous. If she doesn't, that's fine. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, Madison is going to pay the bills and get the mail. <gasps> she is pregnant! Yay! And Julian earned a $4 per hour raise. Okay, sweet, dude. Oh, I don't know why I was like, yeah, maybe Callum and Madison can go out for the day. No, they can't. She works at night. <laughs> so it's just gonna be Callum. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Um, uh, maybe we can find a way to get him out of the house. I don't really know doing what, but we'll figure out something for sure. Oh my goodness, y'all. This man is insane. He wants to invite Zelda over. Ma'am. Sir. I thought we were hitting off with Morgana. Y'all, I have no idea who he's going to get with. Like, there is so many, like, <laughs> so much is happening. I have no idea if he's going to be with Zelda or if he's going to be with Morgana. It's going to be a surprise for both of us. Um, if you want to, like, pop a suggestion in the comment section down below who you think he should get with, feel free to do so. But I don't think we're going to have a great date with Ileana because I think we're going to break stuff off with her today. Um, let's, uh, well, we want to ask her out on a date. Okay, she's busy, so that's fine. Why don't you read the newspaper? <laughs> let's take a little, a little browse to the newspaper. Um, brother's gonna come home and do some chores. Thornton just got a promotion. We can ask her out on a date now. So, where shall we go? Um, probably not far from our house because I do want to, he wants to woohoo with her. So I want to have them do that one more time before they break up just to like get that want off of the list. But he also wants to ask her out on dates. So that's why we're gonna go to the gym. Um, we're not insinuating that she needs to lose weight or anything. <laughs> we're just gonna go to the gym. And yeah, so she is definitely preggers and that's exciting. So they will have a baby because Julian over here is not, he's not happy. Uh, maybe we can take Ileana out to eat. That could be fun. Um, oh, but there's also, we could have uh, some chocolate pie here. I, if only we could do some shower boohoos. I'm just saying. If only. If only. Let's come up here. Um, oh, here she is. Okay. Hello, Miss Ileana. How are you? Let's ask how her day was. And hopefully we'll start this. Day. Okay, we're talking about her daughter and her son. How cute. Um, let's go to the diner and get some food. No, you're not going to have a great date with her. He wants to kiss her. Dude, like, he, like, he, you're thinking of leaving soon. Ma'am, we haven't even gotten on our date. What do you mean you're thinking of leaving soon? 
no, you're not. <laughs> and no, no, you're not. You're coming here to eat with us, Miss Ileana. Like, what the heck? And here's our teddy bear. Uh, just sitting there, hanging around. Having fun. Um, Part of me feels like we should get rid of this for Nancy. Because... <laughs> I feel like the story, but he wants to do it, and so we're going to keep it. I don't know where it came from, why Nancy was the other person, but I don't know. Maybe he wants a promotion. Who knows? Um, I'm going to get rid of that because it's not really counting it towards the dates, and where is Ileana? There she is. Ileana, Ileana, mama. Ileana. Ileana. Tal. Ileana Taro. I don't know. <laughs> Please come here, ma'am. Uh, go here with it. Callum, I need you to eat some eggs and toast. And then why don't you go and play some chess? Just get out of my hair. You're just here to be his brother um, and to add some fun to the game, even though... <laughs> Even though there is a lot of fun and a lot of drama in the game right now with Julian. I mean, like, holy crap. I totally did not plan on having this much drama. But he's like, hi, bro. Hi, bro. Yeah, yeah. Hi, hi. Ileana, where did you go? Did she leave again? We are still on a date with her. Come over, woman. We are literally on a date with you. Oh, my goodness. She, I feel like she's also kind of losing interest in him. If I had to be honest, I think they're both kind of like, she keeps leaving. Maybe she was kind of like, yeah, it was like a, it was a one and done. It was fun, but, you know, I think I want this to end. Um, I think she's probably feeling a little bit guilty about breaking off her, like, her, possibly risking her entire um relationship with her husband and risking her entire family what <laughs> no did she ask us to move in no 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 um anyway maybe she actually wanted to take stuff more okay they're woohooing all on their own you saw that it was autonomous i didn't click it um so she's having a midlife crisis okay and this is going to most likely be their final woohoo what are you doing in callum's bed callum leave leave callum you need to flee get out of here go go before it's too late go callum you don't want to witness that i'm so sorry i don't know why they didn't do it in his bed like that i don't understand callum i'm so sorry i'm so so very sorry so sorry um, but they're gonna woohoo, and then I think they're going to break up whatever they have. They're, they're, like, she is obviously feeling guilty because she continually leaves when, um, he invites her to her house, to his house. But then she also had a moment of weakness, so I think we're gonna ask to just be friends, just to kind of finish up this part of his life and move on to Nancy before we settle down because <laughs> obviously he still kind of wants to with Nancy and she she didn't like that but um I mean whoever who really does we're still good friends no you're done you're not going on a date with her that's over you're ca you're kaput you're done um why don't you make some of that I ain't even gonna try and pronounce it. I'm gonna do it wrong. Um, please, wait, maybe you shouldn't cook because you're gonna find out you're pregnant and I really do not need you burning the house down. I'm definitely gonna have to kind of like add a bedroom or something to this little um, house here. And yes, eventually we will be moving away and out of Callum. Okay, here she goes. It's a, definitely a good thing she did not try and make some food. Layton and Jamie are getting married. Whoa, sorry guys. <laughs> yep, I asked Layton Sekimoto to marry me and amazingly enough, he said yes, stated Jamie Jolina. Apparently dumbfounded that anyone would think of marrying her. Jamie, so many people in the Sims 3 family literally love you, so don't be surprised. This is so exciting. Madison, you're pregnant. We're gonna have a baby. We're gonna have a baby. I Probably not in the next part. I'm not entirely sure. Um, speaking of, I gotta add this part. 
I could literally play this family for so freaking long. But I do need to end this part. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on who he should get with. I have a idea for how he's going to kind of get out of this heartbreak um, and stop being a mistress without the rest. Um, but for now, we are going to continue what he is doing. Uh, Nancy, he wants to kiss Nancy. We're going to have him do that. Probably just kiss. Um, I don't know what possessed him to want Ileana and Nancy. But maybe he'll get one of these for Zelda or for Morgana. Uh, both of them are in a relationship. Morgana wants to leave Thornton and kind of seems like she's interested in Julian. I mean, she did ask him out on a little bit of like a coffee friend type date to talk about her problems and Zelda is in a relationship with Gobias who we don't even know Zelda all that well where's my cutie here's Gobias and see obviously in a relationship but where is where's my cutie where is she here she is so yeah we are friends with her and he wants to invite her over which is kind of leaning a little bit towards being uh romantic with her but I don't know. I kind of want to see who he picks. He was willing to pick Nancy and or Ileana. So that was definitely interesting. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end this part here, you guys. This has been wild. Like, like I said, let me know who you think we should lean towards. Um, and I might take your suggestion. Like, I, I might, I might uh, acknowledge that. But also, if he gets, a, like, the want and wish to kiss zelda or morgana like that's who we're gonna get with so keep that in mind the game will eventually like choose and yeah thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys liked it i hope you guys are enjoying the leprosy so far i totally had the plan of not having a drama filled first generation of the leprosy because everybody has drama filled first generation of the leprosy um and bailey straight up said Mm -mm. not nah, girl that ain't gonna happen and now we have a drama filled legacy so anyway um thank you so much for watching i love you all so much um au revoir salut hey do adios goodbye and i'll see you guys in the next one